Here is a look now at Storm Track Live as we enter the wet portion of our week. Meteorologist Matt Kirkwood is tracking it all for us. It's going to be a very interesting day tomorrow and what's responsible for it is what I was talking about earlier, large area of low pressure, which for day number two is really producing another round of severe weather. And the worst of it's right along the Gulf Coast, fortunately moving away from the Texas region. But here's that area of low pressure. Again, that's going to move right into the Great Lakes. But the severe weather threat, at least for today, is going to stay off to our south. But as this area of low pressure gets closer to us, snow to the north will be in the warmer side of the storm system, at least in lower Michigan, that's going to give us a chance of severe weather. Here's a severe weather threat for tonight. Look at tomorrow, though. Marginal risk. We're right up to Grand Rapids and uh, pretty much Ionia, the St. John's area over to Flint and to the south. It's a low risk, but nonetheless, it is there. And it, mainly strong winds could see an isolated tornado. The same day, a little farther to the north, look at this. Winter storm warnings from Marquette westward and advisories as close to us as it looks like the Houghton Lake area, Alpena up towards uh, Gaylor area. And look at this snow accumulating three to six inches at least across the northern sections of uh, the state, across the UP. And we could even see a little bit of snow here, it looks like, Thursday night. We'll have more on that in a very chilly eight-day forecast a little bit later. All right, Matt. We'll see you then. Thank you.